What are you mumbling about? My coffee. Oh, this yeah. is probably the best coffee I've ever made, you know. And you look beautiful, my darling. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Mm, sleepy. More <laughs> oh, relaxed and cozy. Oh, coffee smells good. Mm. You smell good, too. Mm. First problem of the day. <laughs> what? I want to make you breakfast, but I don't want to stop holding it. I can't do both. Well, just hold me for a bit longer, then. Well, you're not hungry forever, if you like. <laughs> you know, coming here, getting away from it all, is the best idea you've ever had. You mean to say I stop being stupid? Yeah. Why don't you sit down and have your juice, and then I'll start sorting our breakfast. Mm. Thank you. Now you sit there nice and slowly, and after we've had a leisurely breakfast, then we can discuss our plans for the day. Well, give us a clue. You're really going to like these plans. Oh, yeah? What are they? Well, I thought you and I would... I thought you would do a little ice fishing. Is there any way that I can get out of this pre-wedding party that uh, Cheryl was throwing for Sean and Tiffany tonight? There is not. Uh, Your Lordship, there's a telephone call for you. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, so am I. I really can't believe that Sean Donnelly's finally gotten hooked. <laughs> Listen, we better keep an eye on the time, all right? Wake up the Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, and guess what? What? I'm excused from school today. Daddy fixed it up. Yeah. Oh, how are you at fixing parking tickets, old buddy? And you know why? Why? Well, me and Daddy are going to go and look for new places for Daddy to live. Hmm, right. Wherever my future takes me, I want you a part of it as much as possible. Okay. You've got me. Right. Yeah, and if Tiffany and I don't swing this wedding, you got me too. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the dishes are in the dishwasher and everything is done. Good. We're due to make this real estate woman this morning, so why don't you hop up and get your jacket? It's a bit cool out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to. I got all in coming over here tonight to, uh, to be with her. Oh, good. That means you're going to be at Cheryl's party, right? <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm going to be the best man at all. I guess it might put a damper on things if I didn't turn up. Mm. Who else is going to be there? The star with the quarter remains and their house guests. The Ashtons. And Ashton's son. Well, they're hardly all friends. Actually, it was my idea. You sure Tiff isn't trying to pick up a title? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm interested in something that Lord Ashton's involved in. Uh-huh. You've got that buccaneer look in your beady eye again. Hmm? Oh, that's so. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, love, let's go. Okay. Bye, baby. See you later. And, uh... Watch your step. What's to watch? That look in your eye. Oh, yeah. anyway, like bears. You don't know anything about fish. No, I know, thank God, I don't. I know what you've taught me. Well, from what I remember, you were a very bright pupil. Mm. You know, under all that ice, the fish are swimming around like they do in the summer. They're a little colder than they are in the summer, but uh -huh, they're swimming around. How'd you catch them through the ice? You cut a hole in the ice, you bait a hook, you drop the line in, it's very exciting. Is it? Come here. Mm. Look. Look down there. You see the frozen lake? Yes. Yeah. Like you see the little huts on there? Mm. What do you think is going on inside these shags? <laughs> I don't know. Boy Scouts, maybe. No. There's people in there fishing. And they have holes in the ice. And they, they have little oil stoves that keep them mm, toasty warm. They just sit there? Anna, you've no idea of the challenge. Man against fish. Do you, you know, you become... To, uh, your personality changes with fishing. 
I thought you... I thought you liked fishing. No, I don't. I hate fishing. Well... Oh. No, I mean, I enjoy it because it makes you happy. Well, don't they get nervous sitting out there like that? No, not in the slightest. Look, they're dedicated fishermen. Yeah. I mean, if, if we were down there now, I, you know, I, I, we, could probably, we could probably catch our dinner and bring it home. Yeah. Well, but then again, if the idea doesn't appeal to you, I can fully understand. Oh, this is supposed to be appealing. <sighs> and it is appealing, the challenge of catching fish through a hole in the ice. <laughs> Yeah. Well, for a start, we haven't got one of those little houses. Well, we can rent those. Oh. Well, we haven't got an oil stove. They come with a little house. Oh, but then again, if you'd rather take a walk, it's fine. I don't mind. Not if you want to go fishing. Well, if the excitement of it doesn't appeal to you. Oh, it's not exciting. But and it is. You can't imagine the thrill of catching a fish through a hole in the ice. No, I can't. Oh, but you make it sound so, um, adventurous. Well, to me, to me it certainly is. Well, then we should go. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, come on, that's pushing it a bit. Well, in that case, we don't go. No, 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 I'm absolutely sure. I'm absolutely sure. Oh, I hate fishing. Mm. Sit down and think. Ah, uh, I haven't been too difficult. Not at all. Finding the right home is absolutely essential for your happiness. I'm just sorry that the dream place I lined up for you wasn't right. Well, it was very nice, but I think the upkeep would have been a little excessive. Mm -hmm. What do you think, love? Well, I haven't seen anything that I really like too much. But every, anything you want is fine with me, Daddy. Mm -hmm. He's looking here to see if there's anything I've missed in your price range, but I don't think so. This is nice. Could I see that? <laughs> sure. Thank you. Is that in the woods? Yes, it is. Have a look? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what do you think? Wouldn't you like to live in a pine forest? In the winter, it gets just a little deserted, but then some people love solitude. Yeah, I could do with some of that right about now. Of course, when you first mentioned your price range, Commissioner... I guess this is probably out of it, right? Only $300 a month more. It's getting up there. It's charming inside. Not large, but charming. Well, you like it? I love it. I could show it to you today. Right now, as a matter of fact. You up to seeing one more? Oh, yes, this one, yeah. <laughs> She's a lovely child, Mr. Scorpio. Thank you. Shall we go? right underneath us. Oh, Anna, don't be so ridiculous. That's most unlikely. Yeah, but it's not impossible, is it? Huh? What? What? Oh, nothing. Um, listen, you're having so much fun here. Um... Would you mind if I went back to the cabin, went to sleep? No, no, not at all. I think you probably, you probably should do that. It's probably all the rest we can. Oh, 
very sorry you can't get into the fun of this, though. I don't know what you must think. Well, you know, it's kind of everything. Mm. Okay. Bye. Bye. Careful, okay? You don't have to be careful. This place isn't going anywhere until at least the spring. See you in a while. Hey, you don't mind us looking over this again, do you? Not at all. Thank you. I need something neat and little. So where are you going to sleep? Oh, up there in the loft. And when you can come over, you can cop the couch down here. Or I can even sleep in a sleeping bag. Right. <laughs> Charming, isn't it? What some people might even call funky. Yeah, it's not too far from poor Charles either. I think we should have a little talk about this. Yes, I'm sure you'd like some time alone to discuss it. I'll go outside and just breathe in some of that wonderful air. So what do you think? I think I can see it in your eyes. I love this place. Yeah. Even though it's not too far from Port Charles, isn't it? So, you know, I could get a bit isolated in winter. Well, how do you feel about that? I need some of that. I love it any time of the year. I got broke paying for it. You can have my weekly allowance. Would that help? Well, I may have to dip into it every now and again. <laughs> Maybe I can hit up your mother and do for something. That sure is far from the Madden crowd. You made up your mind? I have. I think we could have a lot of fun in a place like this. Oh, yeah! Yay! Right. You're happy now? Yep, I haven't had this much fun since, <laughs> since, I don't know, I just, I just haven't had this much fun. <laughs> It was only four feet of water. Can you take my gloves off? Are you all right? I want to kill myself. <laughs> Do you think it's funny? No, no, I don't think it's funny. Probably either. give you something you can really laugh at. <laughs> For something you can really laugh at. <laughs> this is dinner. <laughs> oh, no. Here first. Mm. Oh, oh, baby, you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, yes, you do. Look oh, so do your decorations. Yes. Oh. I know, I know. He's, he's insatiable. <laughs> look at this dress. She is stunning. Miss mm -hmm. Bannon. I'm really glad that you made the effort to get here first. I know you well, usually run late. Oh, thank you, darling. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm afraid no one's going to come. Everybody's going to come. Yeah. I'm mostly nervous about Robert. Hey, 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 don't worry. Don't. He'll be here. Don't worry. All right, well, if he's here, then everyone else will be here for you two. Of course. And you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I think May. I hear the elevator. Oh, oh, oh come on, Dirk. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. We just went to the elevator. I'm so nice. glad you could make it. Yes, good to be here. Excuse me. Oh, 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 How are you? How are you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm a little surprised you even showed up. Why? I thought you were meeting Felicia and Sydney. Had to bring that up, huh? Yeah, um, her grandmother and she decided to hop the ship in Fiji's. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I get the sneaking suspicion that she's avoiding me. 
I wouldn't be too sure of that. Now, come on. She's probably got the idea that Ariel is back in my life. That's the joke of the month, isn't it? Oh, come on, lighten up a little bit, huh? Hey. Hello. 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 Oh, your decorations oh. are just lovely. You. Aren't they lovely, Edward? Yeah, I guess so. You like Christmas. Ah, oh, yes. Well, the season of giving always gets your father down, doesn't yes, it? Yes, but he shines during Lent. <laughs> I'm telling you, the worst day of my life was the day I met Ariel. Lila! Hmm? Really? Oh, okay. Lila. Thank you. Actually, Lila, I have about a thousand things I need to talk to you about. A thousand things, did you say? Uh, are we talking dollars? People, dear. Just people. Mm -hmm. Colton looks like he's in a grim mood tonight. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, thanks very much. I uh, wanted to talk to you about that uh, yacht that Lord Ashton owns. Uh, how seaworthy is it? Aphrodite? Yes. That's good. Sean, do you mind if I ask you a question? Uh, no, Tom, go ahead. You and I probably know Colton's background better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Ariel's, too. Oh, I'm, I know Colton's all right, but there are quite a few gaps in hers. I suppose, but um, Colton seems to be pretty uptight. He is up to it. Seems to feel that Felicia's out of his life forever. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, thank you so much for inviting us. We're really very welcome. I think you know everyone. I, I think we do, actually. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, Ariel, Larry, please come over and join us. Hi, how are you? Hello. Good to see you. Thank you. Yes, you do. You look fabulous. All right, Donna has your baby. Yes. Shall we? No. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I'm just thinking. I know what you're thinking about. Yeah. It just gets to me sometimes. I oh, know. It gets to me, too. I, I know. I'm sure it does. While you're here with me, if you want to cry, you can cry all you like. We've had enough fun today. <laughs> oh, just hold me. Forever, if you like. You know, when I was carrying the baby, I just felt like we were really together. Really together. I know. I felt the same way. But we still are, aren't we? Mm. Are you kidding? Of course we are. Yeah. We've got Robin. Mm-hmm. I love her very, very much. I know you do. She loves you too. She better. <laughs> <laughs> you know. All the mess is behind us now. All the nonsense. I've been thinking about something all day. What? Wow. I was just thinking that this is it's a new beginning for us, really. It's just starting all over again. Yeah. Oh, it's been such a lovely day. All full of love and stuff. <laughs> and if we have love and stuff, mm -hmm. anything's going to be all right, isn't it? Don't need anything else. Tell me about it. Oh, well, I'm going to have a black tie function. Are you really? Yeah, it's perfect. But tell me about the camp. Well, it's isolated. It's uh, in the woods. It's um, it's not too far from Port Charles. It's isolated? You want isolation? Yeah, I want isolation. Have a good time. Robert. I want to compliment you on a delightful party. Thank you. Thank you. This, uh, house you're renting is in the woods. It sounds like you're trying to get away from it all. Or is it just me? 
I think it's time for change. Well, I know how you feel. I'm looking forward to meeting Julian in New York after the wedding. Really? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh -huh.